Michael, can you just nuance this 5.8% um, revised outlook that you have for the Philippines? So it's significantly lower than what the government is still saying they're expecting. And we even had, you know, just reported the IMF saying that they are even upgrading the outlook to 6.9%. Um, does this factor in the slow vaccination rollout, um, more targeted lockdowns in the country, or is this a base scenario wherein um, we're actually going to be able to get get underway and this is the best case scenario or are there still some upside risks you see here yeah I, I think this is taking what we've seen so far this year in terms of the ability to control the covid outbreak and um, the vaccine rollout pace as well uh, taking those factors on board uh, and expecting you know, a, a similar situation through the year. We do expect vaccinations to pick up, but generally to lag what we've seen in uh, in other markets. So that's partly why we are a bit more bearish than the IMF, for example. I think they've even sort of highlighted that the recent lockdowns uh, could, could pose downside risk to the growth outlook. And, and unfortunately, because cases are so high, we don't see these uh, lockdown measures being eased in a significant way to restart the economic rebound in the near term.